Okay, chickadees. Tell me why I just parked uh, right up here, right? Third floor. It's winter break. There are zero students on campus. There's no cl classes right now. I'm on the third floor, right? Check me. Someone just pulled up here and is backing in. I'm on the third floor. Like, I just don't understand. Like, why are these people just so obsessed with me? Like, it literally makes no sense. Like, you literally just came out of your way to come up to the second floor to stalk my ass. Like, I'm literally filing a straining order. <sighs> Chickadees, so I'm so upset. Like, I got a custom license plate, right? It says, like, don't tread on me. Like, it's... I don't know if other states have them, but in Virginia, there's, like, a don't tread on me one. It's, like, orange. That's, like, the only reason why I got it, because the color. But my custom, like, plate thing, it says, like, low-key. And I swear, ever since I've gotten it, people have been tailgating me up the ass. And, like, I low-key don't want it anymore, because it's, like, I get so freaking, like, anxious now that people are tailgating me. And then because of that whole cop situation, I'm afraid it's, like, a cop again. And so I'm also, like, afraid of speed. So, like, I'm literally afraid of, like, my car right now. But it's just the month of December because, like, you know the cops are always out, like, more in December. Because, you know, what better way to give someone a Christmas awakening than giving them a freaking ticket? Okay, that person got out of their car, thankfully, and left. So I... I just want to do that so like my lights go off. But anyway, story time, y'all. So obviously, Chickadee Hunty had a crazy week. Um, so did I. So did I. So I have to recap everybody, even though there's no viewers. But <laughs> but maybe me in like six months or six years can watch this and see how crazy and stupid I was. Ah. Uh. So if you guys rewind all the way back, all the way back to two months ago, literally two months ago, I, I matched with H on Tinder. We switched over to Snapchat. I thought we buried the hatchet from the past. We hung out November 11th. We hung out again. We hung out again, we hung out again, and we hung out again. And we got to hang out number six. And that's when he said, oh, how do you think so-and-so's reaction would be of you if they saw you on my story? And that's when we were exposed to the truth, chickadees. It took me two months to get to expose the truth. Well, Saturday, it happened. H was with Austin all day long. All day long. Literally probably from like 1 p.m. probably till the next day. I kid you not, chickadees. I kid you not. I have a theory. This is my theory. Because H posted on his Snapchat that he was at the University of Richmond. They had a charity drive going on. I remember from a date that I went on with Austin. He said that in December, he always does this charity drive for his work. So I have a theory that Austin's new boyfriend, whatever, whoever he's dating, couldn't make it. So he invited H because H did reach out to him last, not yesterday, but last Sunday after our date, trying to hit him up and see like, oh, how are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. So they were doing all that all day Saturday. Then they went to the mall and then I got sent a picture of H sent me a picture, a selfie in Austin's car. And that's how I knew he's with Austin because Austin has these, um, they're like a, a cognac leather seat. 
and there's only I've I've never I've never seen them before in any type of car because his interior it's very custom it's a Ford Maverick truck not a lot of people drive Ford Maverick trucks it's a very custom color seat and I vividly remember it from when I was I would get in his truck because I really liked the interior and he sent me a snapchat from the inside because a lot of cars that have that it's not a deep brown. It's more so of like a lighter brown. This was like a deep brown color. So I know he was with Austin. I just know he was. And he's been all weird all leading up to this week. He has been Snapchatting me less and less. All of Saturday, didn't Snapchat me. All of Sunday, it's just been like here and there. So clearly, there's like one of two things going on. He feels bad that he hung out with him and he enjoys hanging out with me and he has to figure out how I'm going to take it or how the balance would be. Or that's like in a perfect world, right? That's like perfect world. That's if he's, you know, a decent human being who has like empathy and like, you know, is able to understand complex emotions. But this is how I think it's going, chickadees. I think that he was hanging out with me solely with the purpose in mind to make Austin jealous or to get Austin back on his radar because the the T is with their relationship. So they started off dating. Then it turned out to just being friends with benefits. Then it turned out to just being friends because he's like, well, now nah, I don't want to have, you know, he's like, I don't want to sleep with him. And you're probably like, blah, 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 blah. Why does it matter? You aren't dating H. Why does it matter who he hangs out with? Good question, chickadees. It wouldn't matter if I knew that the bitch wouldn't be talking shit about me. But I just know you just can't go from hanging out with me to then hanging out with this dude who dated me for a hot minute and tell me he's not gonna bring up my name in any sort of conversation. Baby, I was the topic of discussion, probably. So you see this motherfucking pack of cigarette of his, right? Motherfuckers is gonna, th I'm not gonna throw it away just yet. I'm gonna keep it for one more week, but chickadees, mark my fucking words. I will be throwing these away. If I was real crazy, I would bring it up to the place he does boxing because it's right by where my work is. And I would put a note in it and, and I'd be like, smoking gives you cancer. A. Or maybe I'd be like, don't choke on your cancer sticks. I don't know. I would, I would find something clever to write on it. But that's the T with... Okay, one time I was able to pull down and see like what time it was so I have to have oh I just did it oh that's well I don't know what time it is well I got like maybe 10 more minutes I'm 10 more minutes like two more minutes chickadees so that's what see with that situation like I said I don't know how I'm gonna go moving forward I I do like if he wants to hang out with me I will say yes just because I want to hear him confess and I want to hear from his mouth because I know he will and it'll be even funnier if he doesn't even tell me what he was up to but I just know exactly because I just know y'all know me I just know shit I can't help it I just know shit I didn't choose this life this life chose me so that's whatever I'm talking to a few guys right now I redownloaded Grinder because Tinder is like of course like the one dude, I like, there's two dudes from Tinder. One, I transferred to Instagram. He barely messages me back. He, like, won't, he'll leave my message unopened for, like, two days. And I'm like, okay, whatever. When New Year's comes around, you're getting unfollowed. Like, removed follower, unfollowed. Like, that's the type of energy going into 2024 is giving right now. Like, I have about 10 dudes combined between Snapchat and Instagram that are, getting removed, getting removed, bye, bye, 
you're not allowed to creep on me if you made zero effort to A, try to get to know me, or B, to try to, like, hang out with me or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not allowed to just... I'm not going to boost your Ross, boost your um your following ratio, and bitch, like no, bye, literally bye. Like that's the energy 2024 is giving. So I redownloaded Grinder, and there's a few people. I was on Grinder for ten, like eight hours yesterday. It was so bad, but <sighs> I have like. A few guys uh, I want to keep in contact with on there because, yeah. And I know chickadees. I know, I know, I know. I stopped talking to people who are older than me, but I can't help it. And yeah. Okay, whatever. I'm going to go to work before I say anything to get myself in trouble. I'm going to go watch Pretty Little Liars and have a great day at work. And then I'm going to come home. And I'm going to work out and make myself a little matcha tea. And then, yeah. I'm gonna call it a night. So that's my day, chickadees. Peace and blessings.